was in labor all day and didn't realize it. I said, oh, I've been having a tough day. And he said, what do you mean? I said, well, I'm having contractions and I'd already been in the hospital three other times. So I was like, I'm not gonna go to the hospital. And he said, how often? I said, I don't know. I think it's every few minutes. And he's like, get in the car, you're in labor. So we rushed down to Vanderbilt and they had the whole room full of doctors. She had multiple holes in her heart. So at nine months old, she had to have open heart surgery. And then I would just cry and cry because you just don't have your baby. I know she's in the same building, but I can't hold her. And... I can remember just breaking down and praying and uh, just believing that God was going to make her strong and healthy. It's, you know, the fact that just praying and believing, knowing that something was wrong, but that we were believing everything was going to be okay. When she had the surgery, it was very miraculous how quickly she healed. When we were in the hospital, we had several members of church come and pray over us, and Zoe, and um, a few people even brought gift baskets, and that was nice, because you just really need food, definitely, and that was wonderful, because you get so tired of hospital food, and sometimes you forget you need to eat. You don't think of it as being a big deal, but when you have to feed the whole family, it's just time consuming and you're just trying to gain your strength from getting out of the hospital, getting into a routine of sorts, and still have hungry mouths to feed. So, uh, and they did that for a few weeks. It was, it was wonderful. Having her dedicated at the church is very important. Uh, we've been at the church for 13 years now. It's so important to us to know that there's a support group for her and that the church is surrounding us and surrounding them as they grow up. She's not a throwaway child. Look at her. I mean, look how much she has blossomed and she's growing and she has a lot to offer. And, you know, every single child yes, is important. And, uh, you know, we're all unique. Jesus made us all, but it's the hope that we have of salvation. It's the hope that we have of a future that we're all gonna be perfect one day, no matter how we come into this world.